Yes, hello YouTube. Here is my prototype C3 lithium uh, to LiPo. So this is a lithium polymer pack that I'm installing in a uh, lithium ion battery case. And so I've added the XT60 connector here to plug my LiPo pack into. And then to make the pack chargeable on the Craftsman charger, I added a 6800 ohm resistor between the, the wire coming down from, it'll be this side post, the right side post, which I believe is labeled T2 on the circuit boards. So that's between the T2 terminal and the negative terminal. And so that's all I need to do here for the charging and then I'll show you how it works in the Craftsman charger and then I'll plug the uh, lipo pack into the charger and we'll see how it works here there we've got the red evaluating and now we've got the green charging light blinking and my uh, solar power here has gone from it was at 9.9, .9, so it's jumped up to 13.2 amps. So that's about three, a little over three amps. It looks like that fix does the trick. So all you need is the plus and minus terminals, and then a, I think the battery packs have a 7500 ohm. The 6800 was the closest I had in my parts drawer. Okay, so here is a the Common Sense RC Balance Pro, which is uh, an inexpensive uh, LiPo balancing device. You can just plug it in and you can see it's carrying the cell voltages as the battery pack charges and it's also uh, balancing them out. So you can see here uh, cell 1, 3.97, 3.98, 3.98, 3.98, 3 cell 5 is 3.99. You can see the voltages are getting pretty close now. We've got a 3, 404, 404, 405. 405 so yeah it looks like cell one was the lowest cells four and five were the highest so we'll see if it finishes up within uh, you know 10 millivolts of each other and I'll also see what kind of uh, terminating voltage this has if it actually stops I'll get back to you when this finishes it'll probably be another half hour or so and we'll take a look at what's happening. Okay, unfortunately it looks like the Craftsman chargers don't have any built-in uh, voltage cutoff. Uh, when I pulled the the pack had quickly risen over 4.2. It was up to almost 4.3 volts per cell so I've left the uh, the Balance Pro connected and it's slowly bringing all the cells back down now. They're you got 421, 22, 24, 24, 24. So I'll bring them all back down to 4.2 volts. I guess they rely on the battery protection circuit inside of the cell to disconnect when the cell reaches the desired internal voltage and since that charger seems to only do uh, constant current charging it just keeps charging at you know th three amps until the battery cuts off and if the battery doesn't cut off it just keeps charging it probably runs up to the NICAD uh, charging voltage so they don't charge these lipo packs or the lithium ion packs completely full they just do the 
constant current charging until it hits 4.1 volts per cell then the pack disconnects and that's it and you're only getting about you know 80 percent of the battery capacity at that point so i think charging in a in something like an imax or a turnigy charger <clears throat> will give you a better better capacity and you get the uh, built-in balance charging without having to uh, use something like that so anyway that was an experiment it worked in that the resistor does the right thing down here uh, it doesn't work in that this shutoff doesn't uh, happen automatically but it looks like uh, charging in a craftsman charger unattended probably won't work you can probably use it to bring it up to you know 4.1 or 4.2 volts per cell and then pull it out if you just need a fast charge you just can't plug it in and walk away though because it'll keep charging until something stops <laughs> i don't think it's the bad you know the battery will probably uh, catch on fire or something at that point so i'll update you when i get some more results here thanks for watching